Jiva Fertility Centers is running free fertility camps at all our centers in Banjara Hills, Sanatnagar, Kompalli and Manikonda on all Saturdays this coming month of July. Please come down, evaluate yourself, understand your infertility and your chances of fertility with the treatment options available. There are heavy discounts given on IVF procedures. Thank you. I am Dr. Suachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let's try to understand what oligozoospermia is and what are the causes of it. Can we really improve oligozoospermia? Now, oligozoospermia, according to WHO, World Health Organization, is a condition where the sperms are lesser than uh, the standards that are sent by WHO. What are the standards? Well, 15 million per ml or more is what is a normal pump count in a sample that we consider. Now this is the concentration. So it is 15 million per ml. Count is when we look at the whole number of sperms in the entire volume of the semen. So the oligozoospermia is a condition where the concentration is lesser than 15 million per ml. Now how do we segregate them? Now uh, to really be able to decide what treatment options to give, we divide this oligozoospermia into mild moderate and severe. When it is mild, it is between 10 to 15 million per uh, ml. When it is moderate, it is about 5 to 10 million per ml. When it is severe, it's, it's lesser than 5 million per ml. And based on this mild, moderate, severe values, we decide whether the patient is eligible for one treatment or not. Like for example, if it is less than 5 million per ml and the motility is also low, then we do not consider this patient for an IUI. If it is 10 to 15 million per ml, like I was saying in cases of mild oligozoospermia, then we might consider them for a IUI if the motility of the sperms is according to the standards. So this mild, moderate, severe is where we decide how to uh, segregate them into procedure and protocol. Now what are the causes? Well, the causes are multiple. There are innumerable causes um, from ranging from surgical to congenital that is from childhood or uh, due to uh, lifestyle changes, due to diet, anatomical causes, genetic causes. The causes are many and uh, um, to be very honest, when a urologist looks at the causes, it's very uh, difficult to pinpoint at one particular cause. There could be some glaring at you as in, you know, higher infections or previous surgeries. Those could be the reasons which are contributing to this factor. But it's very difficult to pinpoint one particular reason for this phenomenon of oligozoospermia. During this condition, a lot of uh, male patients come looking for answers, which is why I want to uh, advise that it's very difficult to look for an answer. You should look at what treatment options are available, if they will uh, help you or are they just blind without any studies and there is no point waiting for your sperm count to improve. Now treatment options are many, allopathic, ayurvedic, homeopathic, there are many, sometimes they improve, sometimes they don't. A lot of it uh, is dependent on your age, your married life, the age of your partner, all these conditions. Uh, play a very important role in what time you can spend on improvement of your uh, sperms. So basically what I'm trying to say is that the causes could be idiopathic. That is, we do not know the causes of it. Treatment options, yes, definitely we can give, but the factors that I talked about should be taken into consideration. And more often than not, when it is less than 7 to 5 million per ml, the concentration, it's better not to wait and better to go for treatment options which are available. Sometimes they do help, especially if the age of the patient is less, the partner's, the female partner's age is less. Definitely medical treatment can be given, especially when the hormone levels are uh, fluctuating. In cases of hypothyroidism especially, just a matter of uh, fixing the thyroid and the sperm count can also be improved in three or four months. So definitely the factors have to be taken into account to be able to decide what treatment options to give to the patient. If you have oligozoospermia, if you want to understand more about it, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.